Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you're here because today I'm going to be showing you something in Wireshark that I think is really, really fun. I'm going to be demonstrating for you how to take a Wireshark capture and pull out a password that somebody input when they were authenticating to a local Wi-Fi. It's actually not that hard, but we're going to be using some techniques of brute forcing and we're actually going to go through a little bit of the Wireshark capture to identify some key piece of information that will help us as we try to find this password. Also in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use a SSID and a password to decrypt traffic. So this is, the, this is a condensed um, capture. So it, it really is just, just the data that we want. So in a normal situation, we would actually have like thousands upon thousands of packets that have been captured. And we would have to then filter to get down to the point where we can actually see this particular data. So we're, we're assuming that we've rooted through and we've gotten to the point where we have actually acquired some important information. You could actually do this with without that, but you would then be assuming that there's a wireless authentication that has happened. Now I'm going to show you something really quick here that can actually validate that authentication did occur. It's really, really quite cool. Let's jump over to our, our panel up here and we go over to wireless. We have an option to go down to the WLAN traffic. And over here we can see some really important information. So we actually we can see the SSID of the wireless network. We can also see a bunch of columns. So if we zoom over to this column right here, it's auths. So some authentication actually occurred in this this capture which is great because somebody put in a password to authenticate into this network now we can take this particular capture and brute force it to figure out what was that password what we need to do now is actually use our capture but we need to put it in an environment where we can use aircrack dash ng i use aircrack-ng in my Kali environment. So I'm going to open up my Kali here and we're going to go to a this capture that I've actually already put inside my Kali. I'm going to navigate to where I saved my PCAP that I moved over and we've got it right here, wireshark.pcap. Let's take a quick look at the some of the aspects of aircrack-ng because I, I'm going to be using a couple switches in this particular command, I'm going to do man aircrack dash ng. And I want to actually filter on the B here. So the dash B, we're going to be doing select the target network based on the access point uh, or the MAC address. Let's go and grab the MAC address that is associated with the SSID that we're trying to grab the password authentication from. There. So we know that we have this here. That's our, our wireless network there. I want to go specifically down into the details window and grab the MAC address from there. Aircrack dash ng word list user share word lists rock u.txt and then the bsid we're going to use the, the mac address here paste from the clipboard that's the mac address of the 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 network that we want and it was wireshark pcap and now let's let's run it and see what comes back from it it's very very fast <laughs> but you can see what we what we did here and we did we did a we did a ton um, it comes back that the key was found and the why the password in this particular case was wireshark okay so we actually brute forced this thing to figure out what password was actually input at this moment in time it's great okay so now let's go back to our our original wireshark capture and i'm going to show you how to Take this password and the SSID and 
decrypt the traffic that is inside of this capture because right now it's it's sort of hidden from us. First thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on a packet that has my SSID. You can probably do that anywhere, but I like to do it on the one that I know has the SSID. Right click on the on the packet and we're going to go down to our protocol preferences and slide on over to the wireless LAN and then we're going to do so we're going to select decryption keys and it opens up for us a window here where I can actually input the the password and the SSID into this so that when I want to decrypt things Wireshark will just do that work for me automatically and it's specifically relevant to this capture. You could have a whole stack of them if you've got some regular data that you're going to be decrypting, but in this case, we only need one. So we're going to hit the plus button and we're going to choose uh, WPA password. So in this case, we have a format to, to use and it's going to be uh, password colon the SSID. So Wireshark was our password colon. Then I'm going to type in the SSID, I-K-E-R-I-R-I-5G, bingo bango. We like it. We're going to hit OK. OK, so nothing's really changed just yet. OK, so let's look at the main window again. I haven't asked Wireshark to decrypt anything. Let's go and ask it to do that. Now, before I did this using the right clicking on, the, on a packet, let's go and actually do that through a different way. Let's head on over to edit and then go down to preferences. That opens up for us the preferences window. <laughs> now, we are decrypting some traffic, so I want to go to the protocol that's relevant to this particular task. And in this case, it's IEEE 802.11. So I'm going to quickly jump down there with tapping an I, and we're going to select a protocol that's relevant. So that's right here, 802.11. And now I've got the keys. Let's double check the keys are in there. There they are. Great. Now we want to enable decryption. Select it, and we're going to hit OK. And before we do that, I want you to take a look at what changes on the screen. Ah, we are, we still have 16 packets, but we are seeing something different. We've got a DHCP ACK and we've got a membership query. Now this doesn't reveal much like, from a security side of things. Okay. However, it does tell us something that was happening in this capture on this network that was previously hidden to us. Okay, so we did decrypt this, this traffic to reveal something of interest. Now, if you're doing this on your own home network, this was gonna reveal quite a quite different kind of traffic. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you're enjoying my content, I've actually got exciting news. I've got a merchandise shop. And if you want, go check out, take a look at it. If you wanna support the channel, that would be great. And then I also have some other videos that are going to be on the screen here that I would encourage you to go and watch. I think you might like them. And again, thanks for, thanks for coming.